Hey there, these are the video notes for lessons 2.3, solving inequalities using multiplication and division. Our opener that we'll be doing on Google Meet is to sketch each of the following inequalities. We started this on the last week, so we're just going to keep this one going. We'll be going over this in the Google Meet, how to do this correctly. The learning target, which you should definitely write down, is I can solve linear inequalities using multiplication and division. So, for this first example, it's going to show how to get rid of different things. So, I'm just going to read the one on the left. This says x divided by 8 is greater than negative 5. So, in this case, to get rid of a divide by 8, we'd have to multiply both sides by 8. Therefore, we get x is greater than negative 40. Likewise, on our right one, we have negative 24 is greater than or equal to 3x. To get rid of a 3, ti three times, we have to do a divide by 3 on both sides. And we are left with negative 8 is greater than or equal to x. You could also graph these on a number line. We started showing you guys how to do this last week, so I'm not going to use the time in this video to show you how to do that one right now. A uh, very key concept, though, uh, if you divide by negative numbers, so again, if you're dividing by a negative number here, or if you're multiplying by a negative number, you are going to need to change the order of the sign. So notice how here, uh, we know we're multiplying by negatives, here we're dividing by negatives, but it changes the order of the sign. So this next example is going to show how that works. This is going to be true for both... Uh, less than's and greater than's, and it's going to be true for less than's and equal to's and greater than and equal to's. So in this case, again, the overall examples aren't too tough. On the left, on the left one here, we are multiplying this by negative 3 on both sides. Therefore, we get 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 y divided by negative 3 times negative y, but because there was a less than symbol, it's now going to change to a greater than symbol. On the other side, we have negative 7y is less than or equal to negative 35, so we would need to divide by negative 7 on both sides. So this would just become negative 7 divided by negative 7 is just 1, so it would be 1y. One the symbol would need to change. And negative 35 divided by negative 7 would just be positive 5. So again, just to be clear, notice how initially these are changing. And that's because we're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. All right, to talk through the word problem here. So this word problem said you earn nine fifty an hour at your summer job. This is probably from a few years ago, but still the idea is correct. Write and solve an inequality that says the number of hours you need to work to buy a digital camera that costs $247. Here we have hourly wage times how many hours you work. That's going to be how much money you have. Uh, then we have the cost of the camera on the other side. We're saying that the amount of money you need needs to be more than the cost. So we have, and we just use n. Again, you could use x or any, any other variable. So 9.5, the money per hour, times the number of hours, needs to be greater than 247. So over here, we show how to solve that. We divide both sides by 9.5. We're left with n is greater than or equal to 26. This means that to earn $247, you are going to need to work at least 26 hours. Now, obviously, with things like taxes, you might have to work a little bit more. All right, uh, today's homework is 24 problems. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. It's a lot of very simple, just multiplying or just dividing, solving ideas. And then do not forget that if you want to take your retake, you must have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me to go over your Chapter 1 review or your Chapter 1 test corrections. And you must do that by Tuesday, October 27th, so you can take the test 
the retake on Wednesday, October 28th.